How's it going everybody? It is Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary and this time it's another tutorial video and we're talking about the difference between the DMR and the BR. Two very important weapons to be able to get down while playing the Halo 5 multiplayer experience. Now both these weapons, the BR and the DMR, both same, serve the similar kind of purpose of being the mid to longer range weaponry, the optimal weapon for that, for those situations. But the, both these weapons handle very differently, and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how different they handle. So obviously right here we have the battle rifle, tried and true, you know, something that you've uh, come to know and love when it comes to Halo. So now the battle, rifle, the battle rifle, the main difference between the battle rifle and the DMR here, is that the battle rifle has a three round burst. So it has a little bit of a spread and a bit of a recoil up kick as well, which I'll show you right here. You can see I'll just uh, hip fire this. It's a bit of a recoil jump up. We can do a little side by side comparison with the ADS. You can see it's about the same kind of spread there, which is good because that's what 343 said it was going to be. Now if you also crouch, you can see there is no spread whatsoever and no recoil. Same thing with uh, just hit firing from the hip. So if you have long range engagements with a battle rifle, it's very important to be able to crouch and then shoot. So then you reduce your recoil, reduce your spread, and ultimately get more kills at longer range. Get more use out of this weapon than you initially think you would have. The interesting thing, and also with the battle rifle, I should, sorry, I should mention that is, is that the battle rifle is a four shot kill. That's three to the body, one to the head. Now let's talk about the DMR here. So the DMR is a single shot rifle, the Sanford designated marksman rifle if you want to know that much. And so let's compare the fire here. So we can let's fire up a few shots. You can see there's a bit of an up kick for the recoil, but you can see that the spread is pretty much spot on every single time compared to the battle rifle, which has a little bit of an up, you know, spread to it. So let's try a little right next to it with ADS right here, and I'll show you. It's really just about the same thing, spot on, pinpoint accurate. Now let's try crouching compare the two here. So we'll do a uh, crouching non-ADS. You can see there's still a bit of a recoil kick up with it, but again, you can see the spray is pretty much identical to the previous ones just standing up firing from the hip. So now let's crouch ADS and shoot. Still a bit of recoil, but pinpoint accurate. Now let's try out at a long distance right here. You can see that if we crouch ADS, spot on, standing up ADS, spot on as well. And you also try it from the hip if you want to try that as well. It didn't even show up just because it's such a far range, but it's pretty much pinpoint accurate as well. Battle rifle, you can see at long range, standing up ADS, pretty significant amount of kick right there. And so, we can do with the battle rifle, you can crouch and shoot and get just as much of an accurate shot as you would with the DMR just by crouching. So a little bit of a skill gap there, but you can see the difference between the two. And the DMR, for, lethal, for lethality, the DMR is a five shot kill. That's four to the body, one to the head. So the, the main differences between the two are obviously the spread and recoil. So ultimately, if you're playing like say like a big team, or sorry, not big team battle, but a war zone map, you have long range engagements, you need that extra mobility, I suggest going with the DMR. It does take that extra shot, but you get that bonus of maneuver maneuverability because you don't have to crouch to be super accurate at long range. The battle rifle is a little bit better at close range because it has that four shot kill, but if you're able to crouch and shoot, you can be just as accurate as a DMR, but of course crouching reduces your maneuverability compared to standing up like this. So. Those are the main differences between the BR and DMR. Again, it kind of depends how you want to play. Uh, I would suggest for very long range engagements, you probably want to switch to the, um, the DMR, but if you're playing things like Team Slayer, Arena, things like that, I would probably stick with the BR since most of your engagements are not going to be much further than from like me to like this wall right here. I mean, you can kind of stretch out the, the battle rifle's distance to like right about where I'm shooting right there, but you can kind of see the difference between the two. So ultimately the DMR, much better at long range because it's much easier to use, less techniques that are needed to keep it accurate. The battle rifle can be just as good, but it takes a little bit more uh, 
technique to be able to be just as accurate. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, found it informational or somewhat interesting, or you learned something today, please tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.